Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and it's been a pretty long time since I've done uh, another just a video in general and uh, yeah I've got a uh, new unboxing video for you now this is uh, a particular set of Dragon Ball figures I've been wanting since the second I saw it. it the brand is called uh, Gashapon. Now, if you guys have never heard of Gashapon figures before, they're small figures that you can get in those vending machines in Japan. I'm sure there's a few of them probably in other countries, obviously, as well. But um, this isn't the kind of figures I usually would get in terms of uh, Dragon Ball figures. I usually get the um, uh, Ban Presto. But um, I really, really wanted this. This uh, is a full figure set. Uh, it's called uh, HD D uh, Dragon Ball Super Universe 7 Warriors Edition. We have all 10 Warriors from Universe 7 in this box in the recent season Tournament of Power. So I'm going to be unboxing this and showing it to you and I'll also be revealing something at the very end of this video. So let's get to it! really well and I'm definitely going to leave a link in the description below where which website I got this from if you guys are interested in getting it I suggest don't get it on eBay yet until it's discontinued because I did look it up on eBay and they are pretty expensive you know for a current set of figures um, if you're watching this when uh, it is discontinued I'm sorry but um, if you can if you are interested in getting this try avoid getting it on eBay get it from the link below it's definitely the cheapest price you're gonna get. So, now I'm gonna take this tissue paper off. Ah. Alrighty, so I'll show you the box right off the bat. So we have all of them now. I think if you're a true Dragon Ball fan, I'm pretty sure you can see why I wanted this box because it's exactly the the, the pose that these characters are doing in the Dragon Ball Super intro. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's see what they look like. So I'm gonna put them, assemble them together individually and then I'll put them in order for you guys to see up close. So let's, let's get to it. So uh, how about I include a time lapse now. And to be honest, this isn't as tiny as I thought it was going to be. This looks pretty cool. So let's get Goku on this little thing. Um, I love, I don't usually buy figures unless they have a pedestal to stand on because that's why, I, that when I meet the voice actors, um, they can sign the disc. Instead, so there's Goku there. Gohan. A bit closer. The camera's not focusing that well. But that's alright, I'll do a zoom up on him in a little bit. Here we got Vegeta. Rolling up his glove like he does. I'm very sorry to say that I've never owned a figure of Tien before because I love Tien, he's definitely been one of my favourite characters especially in the Cell Saga when he's like going go -ho! that's the Japanese version but <laughs> you get it though two pieces I really like this one, this is a good pose, look at that that looks cool Piccolo, yeah. Badass Piccolo. Now this one I do particularly like because I am a big fan of Chuck Huber's voice work as Emperor Pilaf in Android 17. Oh, and I really like Android 17 in uh, this saga of Dragon Ball. I used to hate Android 17, but um, he's definitely picked his game up since then. Sorry about that, that was a tough one to get on. Here we go. Android 17 with his rolling his glove up. Here you go. Like I said, camera's off focusing, but I'll show you a better shot in a minute. 
now for 18. Okay, I'll spread some of you guys out. Here comes Android 18. That was another difficult one to put on too, so you gotta be really careful with these sometimes. So here is Master Oshi. Who actually thought Master Oshi was good in this season? I thought it was a little bit strange that they chose him as one of the 10 characters for the Tournament of Power. I thought that was a little bit weird because he's not that strong, but still, still cool to see Master Oshi. He's a little bit of a badass when he can be, when he's not the perverted guy. And here is... Oh, <laughs> I did not notice this when I pitched it. Krillin has got a little tiny sweat patch on his head. You can't really see it with... with my camera here because I'm using the selfie camera on my phone, but he's got a tiny sweat patch right there. It looks so cool. That's 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 classic Krillin, that's for sure. He always gets nervous before he gets into a big fight. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Last but not least, and one of my favourite characters of all time, Freezer. Let's not forget his halo. Had a little bit of trouble figuring out which part of his tail goes in, but there we go, there's Freezer with his halo there. So now I'll show you a zoom up of these guys. Now look at this a little bit closely, I think I can understand why Krillin is sweating a little bit, because he's standing next to Freezer. <laughs> oh, I love it, that's so cool. So here are the close-ups of them. There we've got 17, 18, Goku. Vegeta, Gohan. These guys look really cool. I kind of wish they were a little bit bigger, but I, as a set, this looks pretty damn good. This is definitely encouraging me to hurry up and get a cabinet, because I'm running out of space in my room for collecting figures like this. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the detail. Like I said, could be a bit bigger, but look, at least they're standing on these discs, because uh, I think I might get these signed one day, pretty soon, I'll reveal it in a second. But yeah, what do you guys think? Definitely tell me in the comments below what you guys think. And uh, let me know if you own a set as well. So there you have it folks, thanks for watching my unboxing. Now, the thing I was going to reveal at the very end of this video. I, Mitch, from Jar Guy Cosplay from Australia, is going to be attending KamehaCon, which is happening in May but yeah, I'm going to be attending. This is going to be my very first time in Texas, the very first time in the United States. I'm looking forward to hanging out with uh, SS Goshen 4, a uh, very big Dragon Ball fan. I'm pretty sure she's a bigger fan than I am. Um, I'm going to be attending and bringing two of my costumes, one of them being my Beerus costume, which I'm sure if you guys follow my cosplay page you've seen before, and my Jagai Saiyan uh, Time Patroller costume. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be vlogging, I'm going to be taking pictures, I'm going to be meeting voice actors. That's one of the, one of the main reasons why I did get this uh, Gachapon set. I think I'm probably going to get some of these signed by the voice actors and uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So stay tuned for that and um, thanks for watching my video guys. And until next time, gotcha!